WWRR, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, WMMZ, Berwick, Bloomsburg, Hazleton, WYCK, Plains. Powered by Obi and Son Poeto. The River. 105 and 1035. This is Music on the Menu on the River. Featuring Northeast PA's best artists. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Never mind. She can move me like a stereo, like a song on the radio. She's an angel in the morning, yeah, that's me. And now, here's your host, Alan K. Stout. So I got that going, which is nice. All right, everybody. Happy Sunday night. Welcome to Music on the Menu on the River. Alan K. Stout with as I always am. Sunday nights, 9 to 10, playing your regional artists from northeastern Pennsylvania, doing their own original music, hanging out with D.C. Taylor. D.C., how are you? Good, Alan. How are we doing? I'm doing all right. You know, we, we record during the week, and... It's about twilight right now. Uh -huh. So DC and I are looking out at the window at a gorgeous sunset going out over the over the Wyoming Valley. Through, yeah. Through the, and you can see the casino out in front of us. And yeah. it's cold out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a cold day. I think yesterday was a little colder, but uh, today's definitely, uh, yeah. it's definitely f still feeling like winter here. We got off pretty easy in November and December. Yeah, we did. But uh, winter showed up. Yeah. This week for sure. Yeah. But through the window here, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it looks like it could be July. So, <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, it's, it's very nice. Look, it looks very nice it out sure there. It sure does. It sure <laughs> does. Let's get this show rolling here with some great Northeast PA music. This one's from Mike Jordan and the Gypsy Souls. It's called Kiss Me. Stance. Everything happens has a meaning And I knew on the night we met I mean you was for a reason
There's an old friend sitting by your fire. A wise man asking me to stay a while. My pretty girl to comfort me. Clips of a past life and our memory. To my questions, we'll meet the star beams and realize every lesson. And as I get closer to the end of this tale, I want to cherish every moment as I inhale. Wish I can tell you what it's like in heaven. West here on Music on the Menu with a song called What's It Like in Heaven? And before that, Mike Jordan and the Gypsy Souls with a tune called Kismet. We've uh, debuted some new tracks here on the show recently, and as is kind of our way, uh, when we get some great new tracks, we like to play them for a couple weeks for you, not just kind of be one and done. And so we're going to go back to a couple of great tunes that we uh, premiered here on the show over the last couple of weeks. This is one's from Neil Nicastro. It's called Electricity. This whole crowd, it's only us I know this, you know this So I move closer And you move closer And my eyes trace the space between us My mind can fill in where to lead us It seems a Make our hearts race on 
Black Market Butterfly here on Music on the Menu, featuring Chris Molino with a song called Until the Morning. And before that, Neil Nicastro with a song called Electricity. Here's another new one that we just debuted here recently. This one's from Blind Choice. It's called Nothing Left. This is Clyde Rosencrantz from Sleep Lore, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout on the River.
Nothing's ever really gotten me to the point where I couldn't talk about it. I guess I'm just caught up. If it's me, you just need to go away soon. So I can feel, feel love. Isn't that your flag? And if it fails, if I fall off, I get back up on my bicycle. It's just the way in that soul. If I fall off, I get back up on my bicycle. The other day that I, I gonna make it, I said that there was anything I could do to change your mind. But you sit right back, can't help the fact that, oh, maybe I might. Oh, Lord, I slipped and I fall, fall, fall. Isn't that your flag? And if it fails, if I fall off. I get back up on my bicycle Just the wind that's so If I fall off I get back up on my bicycle Just the wind that's so Franklin House here on Music on the Menu with a song called Caught Up. Before that, Sleep Lore with a song called Ten Summers Ago. And before that, new one from Blind Choice, a tune called Nothing Left. Here's a tune that we just debuted last fall from uh, Tommy Bruno, a really, really well-known and respected musician from the Hazleton area. He plays in a band called Cartoon, which has been entertaining people for at least three decades. A song called What We Had.
is what I get Thank you. 
Adam Knowlton here on Music on the Menu with a song called Redneck Nightclub. Before that, Lindsey Van Gordon with a song called Wild and Free. And before that, Tommy Bruno with a tune called What We Had. This is Music on the Menu. We're here every Sunday from 9 to 10 playing your regional artists from northeastern Pennsylvania doing their own original stuff. This one's from Dustin Douglas and the Electric Gentleman. This is their latest, which they actually shot a video for last year. You can still find that out there on social media. It's called Broken.
Hey, this is Aaron Fink, and you're listening to Music on the Menu with Alan K. Stout. This is The River. You're inside the inside of my brain. You're down. Thank you. I'm music on the menu with a tune called Rock Steady Girl. Aaron in the studio now or wrapping things up. You know, I'm, I'm follow Aaron on social media. I've seen him down at eight days a week studio working on music. And so we might get some new tunes from Aaron this year, which would be awesome. And before that, Dustin Douglas and the Electric Gentleman with a song called Broken. And they've been a very prolific band. A lot of tunes have come from that project. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of this year we've got... I don't know about a whole album, but it wouldn't be surprised if we have some more tracks from that band nice. as well. Now, DC, last night we're pre-recording this, and so we don't know what happened yet. But uh, by the time this aired, but our cowboy, my Cowboys and your Eagles 
played in a game that when the schedule came out looked like it might be big. Mm-hmm. And I guess there really wasn't much to it. Dallas had clinched the division. Right. Uh, the Eagles had clinched a playoff spot. Right. Uh, I was trying to figure out what the game meant, and it actually seemed like if the Eagles won last night, and again, we don't know what happened, and they had to play Tampa Bay in the first round. Okay. Which, that's if they win. Right. So no one wants to face Brady in the first round. <laughs> right. So I don't know. I mean, this was it was a strange one to to try to get your head around as a fan. You know, Dallas didn't have much to gain. Should they rest people? Should we play? You know, uh, their quarterback's been hurt off and on. Dax Prescott should, you know, it just strange matchup for the divisional rivalry here at the end of the latest we've ever had regular season games ever. Yeah. Right. Mid, you know, because they extended the season this year. Right. With the 17th game. Right. So when that schedule came out, it's like Cowboys, Eagles, wow, January 8th, uh, well, that's, that'll be something. And then it, the Eagles looked like they weren't even going to be in the playoffs. Uh, yeah. And they right at their ship, got real hot. Uh-huh. It's crazy, you uh, know. In the middle of your talking, I'm going to uh, take <laughs> off my shirt and run out of here and never come back. <laughs> <laughs> Antonio Brown. Oh, my God. <laughs> that guy. I mean, obviously he has some... There's an issue there. And yeah. So I, I don't. I try not to be that hard on him because if it's a mental yeah. situation, I try to be sympathetic to that. Sure. sure. Yeah. But on the day that the NFL honored John Madden uh-huh. for the coach of the Buccaneers to basically tell the guy to get out. Yeah. That's kind of very fitting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know how John Madden would have dealt with that. Right. Um, well, I mean, not you know, the guy was he was showing the door in uh, Pittsburgh, uh-huh. in New England. Oh, yeah. I think the Raiders. Uh, <laughs> so you know he can catch the football, but it doesn't last long. Hopefully, he'll get the help. You know he really needs. Yeah. Uh, someday, and we'll see what happens with our boys and our Eagles. We'll both be playing again next week, I guess. Uh, and. Uh, We'll see, you know, where we go. All right. We'll talk about football throughout the month of January like we always do. Sure. Leaving now with the badly. This one's called The Man Who Went Away. We'll catch you next week. Of history, an example of what never 
Gonna change. 